Nice. Dude, let's go. <laughs> making a small video on something that uh, was a concern for me going into buying my Titan X. Not in a bad way, but something that I was starting to be very mindful of. Once we bought it, the biggest question I had was, how the heck do we store this thing? So when I was thinking about how I wanted to store this thing, so the two most important things for me when it came to figuring out a way to store this native Titan X was the first part was, we wanted to store this in a way that every part of the kayak was safe from getting damaged. So that includes things like the landing gear, that includes things like the rudder, that includes the front of the bow getting scraped up, things like that. We wanted to prevent it and keep this boat in a safe place to where it won't get damaged in that way. The next most important thing that I wanted was I wanted this to be possible with just one person. So this stand that we had back here is a great stand. This is a DIY stand that we made, but the problem is, is you need two people to get this off the stand. So it wasn't possible. Sometimes when we go fishing, I go alone. So that's where this is gonna come in. So this stand that I have here, we'll talk about it. This is doable with one person. I can deploy the landing gear. I can get it off the, of this rack and onto my truck bed with just myself. I don't need a second set of hands. So that is, those two things are the most important things for me. So in this video though, we're gonna be talking about the storage solution that we came up with, some other options for storage, what not to do, and how to properly store it. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that we're gonna be talking about in this video is what not to do when it comes to storing your kayak. So there's a few different videos out there on how to store a kayak. We'll get a little more into them, but here's some things that you do not wanna do when it comes to storing your native Titan X 12.5. So the most important thing is you never ever want to store your kayak on the landing gear. So that means having the landing gear deployed while the bow is facing down, having it standing solely on the landing gear. You do not want to ever do that. What that causes is it may be fine in the first couple of uses, but after a while, it puts long-term strain on these bars here. These tracks are designed to handle the boat's weight, but it's more used when you're actively using the boat. So while you're actively using the boat, while you're loading the boat, while you're unloading the boat, these tracks can support that no problem. If you leave the kayaks being solely supported by the weight rating of these tracks here, eventually it will fail. Again, when you're actively using the boat, it's not a big deal, but long-term strain, that's a quick way to damage this boat. Um, so I really do not recommend doing that. Even with this new HD version of the Sidekick, you really don't wanna do that. There's other ways. I would honestly recommend, if, if you have no other options, uh, store it on the ground. If, if, you, if you really don't have any other options, uh, store it on the ground. It's not an ideal way to store it, but it is a way to store it. Again, it's not a permanent solution, so don't, don't think about you know, laying it on the floor permanently, but it is an option and it's better than storing it directly on the landing gear. That's how you cause problems with your Titan X. So that's where this is gonna come into play. So this is a demo rack by the company Sparehead. So I bought this on Amazon. I'll leave a link right in the, in the description if you wanna take a look at it. Um, but this is a solid steel kayak rack. And it's nice cause it's got two foam pads on both sides, the two pack. Um, it comes with two foam pads on, the, on each side. And this is a fairly inexpensive high quality demo rack it's meant for indoor and and outdoor use so you don't have to worry about that um, but this give this is a perfect perfect setup for the titan x reason being is it's super wide so you can hold your titan x on here very comfortably it, it's very wide you got the foam pad so it won't slip and slide everywhere you got these two the two clips here so you can go over the kayak and secure it better i also run cam straps across the top to keep the tarp down so that's really really nice you got this support beam that's steel as well uh, painted steel too. And the most important thing is this is the perfect, perfect height for the landing gear. Once the kayak is sitting on this guy, you can deploy the landing gear without having to lift the kayak up. It's a perfect, probably two or three inches off the ground, the landing gear wheels will be. Two to three inches off the ground, so you can perfectly bring it all the way down without, without having clearance issues. And you can get it off of this rack with just one person. So that's an excellent feature, I love that. So this is what I decided on and I'm a big fan of it. And plus, it doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't take up a ton of room either. You can store them pretty easily. And they were super easy to set up, maybe it took five minutes. So I'll leave a link in the, in the description for these guys, but these things have served me very, very well so far.
that easy, guys. So this is exactly how it looks while it's stored. Um, as you can see, the landing gear on the sides have enough clearance off the ground to where you're not running into problems. You can deploy the landing gear directly from this, this uh, rack here. Um, and this is a super easy setup for one person. So one more thing I want to actually talk about is those double-decker DIY native watercraft storage racks that you see on YouTube. You can easily just look up native watercraft kayak rack and they'll pop up right away. Those are awesome. I really like those. And that was actually the original plan here. We wanted to build one of those double-decker kayak racks for both my kayak and Pete's native Titan 12. Um, it would have been perfect. Um, the problem with those is you'll see a lot of videos, they're all done inside. So a lot of those videos are the wood that they buy is only made to work inside. Um, it's not pressure treated wood. So in our case, it would have had to stay outside 24 seven. And we priced out how much it would cost to build exactly that with pressure treated outdoor rated wood that would hold up to the elements long term, that would hold up to rain, snow, things like that. And it was a very, very expensive. I didn't physically write it down, but it was around 500 bucks for everything because it would have had to have been all pressure treated wood it would have had to been, uh, we couldn't use plywood with the carpeting because that would have just been a gross mess after one or two seasons. So it would have had to been like almost decking material on the top because uh, that would be weather rated. And all of that combined was probably close to 500 bucks. So there was no way we we're gonna do that. It would just be too expensive. So we went with the demo rack here, the spare head demo rack, and I'm a happy camper. Pete's gonna be getting one as well to go right on the side here. Um, so I'll have them both, but yeah, so that's just something I wanted to talk about quickly. So one more thing I want to talk about is how to cover this native Titan X 12.5. So in the meantime, this is not a permanent solution, but in the meantime, I just have a very large blue tarp. Um, it's not an ideal scenario. It's not a good looking tarp. Eventually we're going to get a solution for it. It's a little more permanent. Um, but for now we have that just to keep it away from the UV rays, keep it away from the water. Uh, things like that. You definitely do not want to store this thing with no cover, um, regardless of what kayak you buy. If you leave it out in the elements, if you leave it out in the rain, if you leave it out in you know the UV rays, hot UV rays over time, the rain will find a way to get into the hull of your kayak. It doesn't matter what kayak you have, it will find a way. And the UV rays, as great as these Native Titan hulls are, uh, they're very thick, they're very durable hulls. Uh, that's one of their main marketing behind them. They're just such high quality hulls. One issue you could run into with any kind of kayak hull if you leave it out in the sun for too long, uh, the UV rays will beat down on it for so long. It could cause you know, sun fading, could cause warping over time. Uh, we're talking many years, but it could happen. Um, with any kayak, it runs a risk. So definitely you wanna make sure that you put a good cover on this thing. Uh, I know Covercraft makes some good ones. Native Watercraft makes a, makes a kayak cover as well. All of which are good kayak covers so definitely want to keep that in mind you don't want to just leave this thing out in the bare sun um, that's something that I think is very important for long-term care and I'll show you one more thing to do as well and this is aerospace 303 marine protectant so this is a UV protector it keeps vinyl and I'm reading right off the, the, the cover here keeps vinyl rubber plastic looking new longer prevents fading and cracking repels dust dirt and staining and non greasy so this is a perfect thing to do if you made a big investment on a kayak like this and you want to take care of it for the long haul. Definitely you want to think about getting something like this. All you do and what I do, I just spray it onto a microfiber towel and I just apply it out of direct sunlight. And probably once a month, once every six weeks, I'll do that. And it prevents anything from happening from the sun. Uh, the UV rays, it'll shield from the UV rays. It'll do a better job at that and it'll keep it, it'll keep it looking fresh longer. So that's a big thing too. It's not overly expensive, so definitely I think you should consider that if you're thinking long term. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. It's gonna be a very short video. If you guys have any more questions, definitely leave them down below. I'll answer all of them as best we can. But yeah, guys, really hope you enjoyed this short video. We'll see you out there on the water and this fishing season is just getting started. We'll see you later.